be so good they can't tell you no. You don't ever want to get in a position where they say no. There's this thing called the J-O-B. You never want to have one. You guys may think you got a job right now. I got a job. You don't have a job. This is your life. Can I ask you a question? Do you think crazy people are the ones that win or the analytical people that overthink everything? Which ones? Crazy. crazy. They make statues of the crazy people. If you want to be remembered, you got to be crazy. Every successful person in this world, if you crack them open, they are bat crazy. I'm not lying. You should hear the conversations they have with themselves. Okay? When I, when I was younger, I want everybody to know this. I was a closer, the closer. When I went from one-on-one to one-to-one -to -one selling, I went to closing on a mile-wide car dealership. I had a Nextel radio back in 2001. And they'd be like, lady in the yellow hair, blue purse, GMC store. And I'd jump on the golf cart, fly down there. Watch. I would go in and, and listen, I need you to understand how this works. So there would be like credit, monthly payment, down payment, trade-in, price of the car. There'd be all these numbers. And dude, when people are blowing out, you know what blowing out means? They're leaving. When people are leaving, oh yeah, we're leaving. We need our purse, grab the keys, and they're walking out. Does that make sense? That's when they page me. They page me when shit hits the fan. I'm a kid. You know what I would do? I would go down and immediately, I'd say, hey, what's going on? My name's Andy Elliott. I'm the deal coordinator. Then I'd have them sit down. It was in 30 seconds. How to make them love me and how to close them. I closed every one of them. Listen. This is crazy. The sales rep had been one-to-one -one for three hours with them. They knew their credit. They knew the trade-in. They, 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 knew, they knew what they wanted. They knew everything about them. They knew where their kids lived. They knew everything. I didn't know nothing. I don't need to know everything. What I need to know is I'm shutting this down. Watch. Over three hours of knowledge versus 30 seconds to five minutes of me with belief and love and passion and caring about people and getting involved and making people feel important. I didn't know anything about the deal. All I need to know, what's the monthly payment? How much down payment do we need? And where are you at and where do you need to be? That's all I need to know. They're like, they're at 400 a month. We need to be at 599. Bam, give me it. I got to bump 200 bucks. Come here, have a seat. I would sit down with people. I never sat across the desk. Desk, desk. Some of you guys, you sit across the desk and never did it, ever. Watch. If I'm sitting here and I'm just, I'm not telling you to be me, I'm trying to tell you right now. I would walk into these offices and a sales rep would be sitting here with a piece of paper trying to talk to the customer, right? And I'm like, dude, it's you against them. What are you doing? So I'd come in, I'd say, hey, give me a second. I want to talk to him. I would literally say, hey, guys, I want to go over this real quick in case you have any questions. Can I have permission to kind of come around here so I can go over this with you? Is that okay? What do you think they say? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I would sit right here. I would sit right here next to them. Here's where they are. And I'd be like, okay, cool. I want to go over this with you. And what would I do? I would sell ideas. Listen to me. Ready? Storytellers. Sell ideas. Sell situations. Paint pictures. Influence and persuade. What are you guys doing when you're sitting next to somebody? Can I ask you a question? If they make a wrong decision and they don't sign an agreement with you and they go somewhere else, right? They can go to another place where they're going to be living and it could actually end up being not a good place to live, but they're locked into an agreement. They find out later, right? And then they want to come back to you. It's very expensive to break that because somebody didn't explain this to them right. When you're sitting next to someone, right, what should you do? Number one, you need to create pain immediately. What's pain? If somebody doesn't buy with you and they buy with somebody else, what are the things that could happen? It could cost them a lot more money. It could waste time. It could be frustrating. Okay, watch this. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain. It's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. 
Hey guys, so so number one, I want to tell you why we need to do this now. Number one, availability here is always very rare. Is that true? Tell them. Hey, listen, availability is always rare here. Okay? Once there's an opening, it gets booked up very quick, okay? One of the reasons that people love doing this with us and why you need to consider this is because we know that you're gonna be going to school now. We know school is hard, we know school is gonna be tough, and we know that your goal is to get situated in a place, right? To get situated in a place where you can give all your energies and effort to that and there's zero frustration where you're living. Would you agree? Okay. If you don't make a good decision here, what we've learned with these other three campuses, these other three facilities, these other places, this is what we've learned. Did I say anything bad about them? Everybody, remember these two things. What we've learned and research shows. I said, guys, research shows that 90% of the people that signed an agreement somewhere else end up breaking that lease agreement to only come back over here and after lots of frustration, spending lots of money and wasted time, they end up using us. Their biggest regret is that they didn't hear about us soon enough and in the first place. So today I wanna to tell you this, research shows and what we've learned is that our students here are happier than staying in other places for one simple reason. The way that you live here, zero frustrations, right? You can put all your energy into your school, accessibility to this, how this operates, what you can do here that you can't do at those other places, and then also the vibe of the facility. We've learned that when you go to college, listen, the vibe of the facility is priceless. We spent tons of money into this campus making sure that our students stay stress-free. Super important to us. When you go to these other places, they become party campuses. And when that happens, what happens is you can't get your work done, you end up making bad grades, and then you look up, and everything that you wanted, your dreams get flushed down the toilet. Our goal is to protect your dreams, give you a good life. You still have the freedom to do whatever you want, but to create a stress-free environment while you're going to college. Isn't that what's important to you? Well, good. Basically, I just told them what they needed to hear. Did I ask them, what are you looking for? You could ask them early on, what are you looking for? And they'll tell you, and then I can display that. Well, we're also giving you what you're looking for, but we also provide this. Are the parents with the kids? Sometimes, sometimes no. So would you say it's a different cell when the parents are involved versus when the parents and the kids? Yeah. It's kind of the same, but a little different. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm telling you guys, listen, you see this knee to knee? I want you to remember I said knee to knee. If you get across the desk, you're like the counselor. You're the salesperson. You're the presenter. Take your chair and move it around and say, I wanna go over this with you. By the way, when should you do this? When there's trouble or during the presentation? During the presentation. Be so good they can't tell you no. You don't ever wanna get in a position where they say no. Watch. If I'm explaining something to you, right? Okay, do I have a better chance right here or do I have a better chance saying, uh, uh, right here? See that? She can't say no if I'm here. She can't say no. Listen, the power of positioning yourself, tactical advantage. If you want to kill an enemy, this is a mountain. Do you want to be up here or down here? Okay. On the top. You'd be a fool to choose this position. This versus, okay, I've kind of got a proposal of what this looks like. I want to go over this with you, and then if you love it, I'll tell you what's next. Let's rock and roll, okay? Now, I, by the way, I'm gonna go over this with you in case you have any questions. Is it okay if I come around this side of the desk so I can show you this? Is there anything bad about that? Is there any laws that say you, have to, you can't present here, you have to present here? No. Do you guys have the courage to really care about people? If you do, come over here. Why? Number one, it shows them that you care about them enough to get next to them to explain it thoroughly. You gotta remember this. Am I presenting this and hoping they're gonna say yes, or do I know if I do it this way, everybody's in? Everybody's in this way. Pull your chair around. And you may say, well, Andy, in my office, in my desk, it's really hard to get my chair. Put a wooden stool in the corner. I don't give a shit. Say, hey, you know what? I wanna go over this with you guys just to make sure you understand it. Is it okay if I slide around this side of the desk to go over this with you? Yeah, okay, cool. Grab it, go over it. Now, by the way, when you sit there and you go over it, listen to me. 
Are you talking to them like they're a client? Or are you talking to them like they're your family? Okay. How can you make people feel like you're their family? Yes, but compliment them. Compliment them. Hey, I'm not asking you to be fake. I'm not asking you to be fake. Do you like people? If you do, make them feel that they're welcomed, make them feel that they're loved, okay? How can you do that? If you wanna win me over, compliment my kids. I love it. You say good shit about my kids, you treat my kids good. You treat my wife good, I'm in. So when you're doing this, you need to compliment them. By the way, you say, what does that look like? Okay, I'm gonna set the tone for them to, to do this every time. I'm gonna sit down and say, Hey guys, so I wanna go over this with you. First and foremost, before I go over this presentation to kind of show you what it takes and then we'll move on, um, just wanna really compliment you guys. Beautiful family. Let's say mom, dad, kids. Beautiful family, seriously. Look, every day I take 15 tours a day through our campus, 15 X, Y, and Zs a day, whatever you guys call it. I meet lots of people, I'm just saying. You guys are awesome, man, seriously. You guys look awesome. I always tell people the eyes are the window to the soul. I see you guys' eyes, you guys are different. I love it, man. You guys stand out. This is gonna be a good home for you guys. We're excited to house you. We're excited to show you guys uh, a stress-free environment. But I always, I always like being surrounded by good people. You guys are great people. So I just wanna say thank you guys. It was awesome spending time with you. You may be some of my best customers I've had all year long. How's that make you feel? Compliment them. Dude, you guys are some of the best customers I've had all year long. I don't know if you knew that or not, okay? Husband, wife, how long have you guys been married? Watch, and I'm giving you an example. See, because you don't want to say something stupid, right? So how old is little Johnny? Oh, he's 19. Oh, how long have you guys been married? 13 years. Okay, well, that's not his mom, okay? <laughs> right? I'm, I'm just, mo In most cases, right? But if they're like, oh, we've been married for 35 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, little Johnny's 18. So as I'm sitting here, I'm like, Number one, I just want to tell you guys, um, how, and you guys said you were married for 35 years, is that right? Yeah, if the parents are there. I would say something like, I want to tell you guys, you guys got to kick ass marriage. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. I'm telling you, I love it. I love power couples. And I know this is about him today, getting in a place, but I'll tell you guys, I love how you guys handle it. I know you've been a good example for him. Are you guys ready for the power close? The parents are ever around? Listen, one of the things that I learned and that I hope for myself, I've got three children, is that you guys have been the example for them for the last 18, 19 years, right? You showed them the way, you set the standard, and now you're handing them over to professors and to a college, right? to make sure that now that they treat them and hopefully hold the standards like you guys have as parents. Am I correct? One thing that I can guarantee and ensure you is that your standards that you've had as parents, we're gonna operate in those same standards here at, the, at this place. And so basically, as me telling you as the property, facility, community manager, whatever we call ourselves, is that I'm telling you guys, handing your son over to us, Johnny, he's gonna love it here. It's gonna be awesome. but. We're going we're gonna to take him over, and he's going to be nothing but around good vibes, high standards, and a great safe environment, and a good place that he's going to love for the whole time, okay? So as parents, I know that you're thinking, we need the best interest of our children, right? We got you guys. He's in good hands. Man, they need to hear that. Dude, you think anyone else is telling them that? No. No. No, no one is. Everybody's doing the bare minimum. There's this thing called the J-O-B. You never want to have one. You guys may think you got a job right now. I got a job. You don't have a job, okay? This is your life. Th listen, this is your life. This is your life. How you treat this thing, some of you may look at me and you're like, oh man, this is my life. Guys, I've been, I've, been, I've been providing customer service and hospitality since I was 18 years old. You know what I learned? 
You got to outdo your competition. You got to outlast them. You got to outskill them. You got to out strategize them. Dude, business is war. Okay? Like how I think, and that's why I say future truth. Like who do you want to be? We all got to lie and become that right now. Now, here's what I'll tell you. Soon enough, that ain't going to be a lie anymore. You will be that person. Dude, when I wasn't in shape, soon enough, I was in shape. With my marriage, my wife's like, I learned to live without you. Soon enough, she was like, Andy, I admire you. I look up to you. I'm proud of you. Dude, you give me a million, trillion, gazillion dollars or one compliment of my wife saying that she's proud of me, I'll take the proud. I like that. That feeds my soul, okay? You know what I'll tell you guys? This is war. This is war. This is war for all of you. Like, this is like true war. Those other businesses, they want those deals, don't they? Do they care more than us? They better not. They can't care more than us. Listen, you know what a psycho competitor is? Just like it sounds. Some of you guys, you went to school, okay? I don't know what you did, you competed, whatever. This is your adult sport. You guys get it? I don't know if you played sports. This is your adult sport. How good are you? Are you, are you four string? Are you sitting the bench in this great company right now? Or are you number one every month in the rank and the numbers? Also, are you number one in the rank and the numbers and because you're an alpha and you're a leader, you're encouraging other people to also break their personal best records and then they're killing it also. Does that make sense?